the canisters are installed. So I went with MTW uh, knuckle headers from Jaffa Thunderbolt. There's two knuckles on it. These are used headers. I've had these on a couple different uh, combos before. So I just had to with, you know, break it with map gas, um, put it into the proper configuration and then uh, resolder. It's not the cleanest look right now because these things have been through a lot. <laughs> I might, uh, I might at some point take them off and spray them black just to make them look good. But uh, functionally, they still work great. Those are brand new uh, MTW, what are they called, TD-80s. Um, and they're, I think they're the K version, which means rear exhaust. Um, the the uh, KS 3086s also work good. Pretty much same size, same shape. Same diameter, um, but I can get these through Jaffa Thunderbolt. So uh, that's what I do, and they seem to really work well. 11.5 um, inch header length. So header length measured from the flange with a string down the center line to the inlet of the canister, which is about here. So I like 11.5 inches on the DA120. It seems to run really good, nice mid-range, coupled with that... Uh, throttle servo um, setup that I do. Uh, it seems to be a real nice, smooth, consistent, uh, mid-range, really happy with that combo. That 11.5 seems to work really good on the GP123s as well. But uh, anyways, I uh, got that done. Yeah, they fit in here nice, no issues. Um, very easy to get a nice straight alignment. For gasket making highly 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 recommend this stuff um, i get this a canadian tire in ontario it comes in a black color and it's kind of like a half length silicone tube and you put it in like a caulking gun and squeeze it out um, i ran out of the stuff and ended up throwing out my tube before the move and i just went to canadian tire tonight and here in alberta they sell it in this handy little um, squeeze tube which is awesome um, and it's a it's more of a gray color it's kind of a really really dark gray uh, seems to work the exact same if you've never used the right stuff um, try it out you will find it is way way nicer than like that copper rtv stuff um, so you will never regret this. It is very, very similar to the Honda Bond that you get at like a Honda motorcycle shop. Um, pretty amazing. So I, I really think that this is the same as Honda Bond, just repackaged, but who knows? I'm sure someone knows more about that. But this right stuff is amazing. So Canadian Tire, um, super handy if you can get it in this nice little thing. But the the silicone tube or the um, the caulking tube also works well in the black. So I put it here, I put it on the bolts before I tighten it down. I put it inside the couplers as well and then I kind of make a bead here so there is no leakage and then I like to heat this up with a torch and get the coupler nice and soft and it seems to, to, to mold in nicely with the force of the clamps. So that's that. And I went with rear exhaust. I could have gone with front, but I was a little nervous that the front, the front dump would work out in this hole. I really didn't want to jeopardize the 11 and a half inch uh, header length. And I'm pretty sure based on what I'm seeing here, it would not have worked out. I would have ended up with some front dump uh, spigots that probably came right up here. This one would have been a real mess. It would have been right into this area. So I really did not want to mess that 11.5 inch. Uh, so I had to put extensions on. What, what I found really works well is um, the airplane or the helicopter booms. So I went to the hobby store, actually got this from Hobby Hobby in, uh, in Mississauga. I think this is like a Blade CX uh, tail boom. But anyways, just go to the tail boom section, find one that fits. 
it is absolutely the perfect diameter to just barely slip over. It slips over quite tightly. Um, I cut off a length and then I almost kind of like here, I put a little slot in and that just allows it to expand just enough to get it over. And then I put a hose clamp in. So, or a hose clamp on it um, from Canadian Tire. So been using these for a long time. They're super light, um, really, really close fit. And uh, it's always worked for me well. I'll just flip this over. Oh, man, oh, man. All right. There is where the canisters came out. Nice clearance. Super awesome, super happy with it, really nice design. And then all I did was just, uh, they give you this balsa floors. You can see if you went with a pipe, you'd have, you'd be able to open some of those areas. Um, but I just opened a nice little section right here and it should work out really good. For the lower wings, there's a bolt here and a bolt right down here. Uh, so still easy to get at to attach the lower wings lots of access so super happy